Hello, my people. Hello, brothers and sisters. How you doing? And see, the thing is this: I come across a lot of people. I've been around. I've been around a lot of ignorance. You know, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Israelites, whether it's God, whether it's Muslim, doesn't matter. You know, we got a bunch. We have some idiots out here. Yeah. You know, most of them that claim that they the overstanders. Oh, I overstand this. Or I overstand that. Or I overstand this in the universe. This in the universe. That. Okay. Now, many claim that they overstand. So, see, one thing I can say, many, and this, I'm going to be honest with you, many, they say they overstand, and I know that the master of their overstanding because the master of their overstanding is just a, a fool that actually understands nothing. Now, all the people that came to me and said that they overstand this and they overstand that and they're really in this and that, they can never come up with one solution. So if you, uh, you know, so if they would have overstood something, they would know that they was nothing but narcissists, word salad, idiots. Now, I don't mean that in disrespectful manner, I mean that in a rebuking manner, All right? Each and every, each and every one of them that over, they said they was overstanding that I know personally. Now they're making that sex look bad, you know, I don't know, but I'm just saying, each and every one of them never came up with a solution. The, the stupidity I've heard was things like, oh, well, you know, everybody got Satan in them, everybody this and that, you know, everybody's God, and, and you know, and I'm looking, I'm like, okay. And the thing is, see, the thing is this, like I said, I'm going by the ones I see. Now, the things I have to say is like, I'm going to say it again, never, none of them ever actually came up with a solution to any problems, you know, and, and like I said, I never depend on a man or woman for a solution, but my thing is right, these, the, these ones that say, oh, I'm the overstander, and I'm this and that, and I'm, I'm, I'm the goddess, and I'm the god, these are the same people that come to you, asking you questions about your life, you know, about your relationship, about your child, you know, about your money, about whatever, these are the same people, so what I'm saying is, you know, since you're the overstander, I'm the overstander, and I'm the goddess, and I said, you know, I'm just trying to think, um, if you're this stupid, and you're this ignorant, damn, how stupid is your God? Because my God, Yahweh, right, let me tell you something. I definitely stand under Yahweh. I stand under Yeshua, and I stand under the Ruach, which is the Holy Spirit. I, I, I stand under each and every one of them. I know there's one God, and I know it's Yahweh. Heaven is created in earth. And you know, whenever I do something or, and, I, and I speak, you know, um, if not, but the majority of the time I'm speaking, you know, of course, under Yahweh's authority, under the, the power and dominion that Yahweh, Yahweh gives me, not because I'm an overstander, not because I'm the God, not because, you know, that's, you know, so, pardon me for, you know, but I'm just saying, like I said, I'm going by what people I actually know and sing do this foolishness. And, I mean, and, and, you know, and every one of them never have any, you know, at least when you're under Christ, Christ gives you solutions. I mean, see, if Christ gives you solutions, number one, to follow God. You, know, so you follow Christ, you get the Spirit, then you know, you as a servant, you uh, you help out, you monitor over others, you know, you mentor, I mean, Christ gives you some answers, Christ gives you a solution, you know, and that's what I'm saying, so, my thing is, you know, I, I'm the overstander, you know, they, they don't, you know, the overstanders, they don't over, they don't overstand patience, they don't, uh, they don't, uh, they can't give you solutions, they don't know how to end but you know, they're always causing peace. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. That's what they think they cause. So sorry. They, they, they don't know how to. They, don't, they always cause them war. They don't know how to have peace. They're always chaotic. They're always confused. They always want what's not theirs. They have a bunch of jealousy in them. They have a bunch of envy. They lie. And then, right, and then um, if it's a man or he creates just a whore out of a woman, and then you can tell when the woman has, you know, has been having sex with that man because then she becomes just like him, just like the saying goes. They become one, and she becomes just as stupid as him. And you understand? And then they're cowards. So, like I said, I'm said again. Yahweh, my God, definitely told me to turn the other cheek, which is what I do. So there'll be no, you know, no war, no violence. So yes, it was, you know, Yahweh said to do it. Now, my thing is this. I've seen these, you know, so I think instead of them saying they're overstanding, I think that God got them pretending. You know, see, when you're a son and daughter of Satan and you just don't want to admit it, that's the point. See, Satan thought he was an over this and an over that. See, so... And then right then he will lie to every chance he get. So you know, just like Satan was rebuked, you know, like I said, all oh, you overstanders, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua, I rebuke you right now. 
Because remember, you don't have authority. Because remember, you don't overstand. Remember, you don't you don't tell the truth. Remember, you have no solutions. Remember, you the way, the truth, and the life is the Christ. It's not you. It's not the woman you lay with, your goddess. It's not the man you lay with, your god. It's not none of that nonsense that you, you know, that you overstand is talking about. So, I just want to tell you, I love God more heart, mind, and soul. So when God departed me from you over standards, first you have to understand why I was departed from you. Then you have to ask God to, you know, they have to ask God to overstand you so you can know the situation. But just for, for a tip for you, let me tell you, anybody that God allows to overstand, which is the children of Israel only, not if they're the black man or whatever, you know, um, right now, the children of Israel, which God, had, which God has allowed to overstand the sins that they're in through the Christ, now I can tell you, we tell you the truth, and I'm going to say we because there's a few out there, like Christ said, there's many core, few are chosen, now, the few tell you the truth, the few is not scared, and see, when I say that, I'm just letting you know because he's such, such an overstander. Why would you be scared if you stand over something? So, you know, like I said, that God that you're a God that you are um, praising. <laughs> well, just like Elijah told on 450 prophets, well, I think you need to throw some more water on him. You know. Uh, I think you need, I need, you need. You need to make some more sacrifices. I think you need to burn some more incense. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with Yahweh. Stop playing with the Most High. Okay? And I, I mean that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Peace, y'all. All the children of Israel. Peace.